Yes then guys, how are you doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. I have only gone and done it. Somehow, some way, I've managed to craft Saint Maximum, Neymar and Dembele. Yeah, I don't know how I've done it boys. My club is very much in the mud. Essentially what you see here and on the bench is basically all I've got in my team now. But that is fine. We have this 99 overall. Absolute machine. Five star, five star. That's basically the norm these days. High, medium, left footed with incredible stats. It's basically carbon copy of St. Max and Neymar. Like these players are very, very similar on paper. Like if you just do the right trigger, left trigger, there's barely any difference across the card. So I kind of know what to expect. And now Dembele's body type in game, his foot fantasy upgrade card, the 95, insane. One of my favorite cards I've used alongside the foot fantasy St. Maximum. So seriously high hopes, my favorite trait for Ness shot as well. And he's left footed, which for some reason, I don't know what it is about me, I love a left footed finesse. Outside the foot shot flare trait, it looks phenomenal. Now the price isn't that bad. It's definitely cheaper than Neymar, I think. I'm pretty certain because you don't have to do the club or the squads where you chuck like a specific amount of shapeshifters, team of the seasons, etc. So you kind of have to get it away with that, which is good. And yeah, the team itself is absolutely ridiculous. I need to get Varane at some point, but I'm going to need a little while to get some fodder together, guys. But anyway, Uzman the Belly is why we're here. Foot Champs is where I'm going. Before I get into it, if you are not subbed, hook me up by pressing the button down below. I want to hit 7K or get close to 7K before the start of FIFA 23 so you can help me do it. Anyway, boys, Uzi Boozy, Mr. Dembele, let's go. I've been searching for a lifetime. I don't know if there are a lot of people are playing Foot Champs these days, but I'm only 3 and up as well. And it's a Sunday, so we will not be finishing the games this weekend, boys. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Hopefully, we can get a decent run out for Mr. Dembele and can kind of compare him to the likes of Neymar, the likes of St. Maximum and Griezmann. Because that, like, foursome is unbelievable on paper. And I'm sure it's going to feel fantastic in game as well. So, guys, let me know down below which footies card was an absolute no-brainer for you. Are you like me and trying to craft all the big boys? I'm talking Varane, Nene, St. Max and Dembele. Or are you targeting one at a time uh, and kind of chipping away, doing upgrades, etc.? I reckon, probably would recommend that, in all fairness. Instead of sinking your life and soul and pretty much your whole club into... Uh, these are SBCs. We should have scored that. I don't know how Greasy Greasy's missed that. Uh, but so far, out of the three, without not including Dembele, I think Neymar might be my favourite. Uh, that is an absolute no-brainer. Neymar is unbelievable. And we take the lead with Alan St. Max. Let's go. And a 1-0 rage quit. Okay, maybe I will get a decent chunk of Foot Champs games done. If it keeps being 1-0 rage quits, that'll be fantastic. Let's get on the game number two. Game number two. Can we make it back-to-back -back Ws? It's a crazy-looking team. And he's got Varane. So no messing about Dembele, ultimate test right here, Sunshine. Let's get the ball to him ASAP, because I don't think we had a touch him in that last game. But we may have very briefly. Usman Dembele has lost the ball instantly. <laughs> what What a start, lads. Are we getting a free... Mate, boys, boys, play your foot champs on Sunday nights. It's the new way. It's the meta. You get three Ws, you get one no rage quits. Let's get on to game number three. Three for three is on the cards. Yes, it is. It's a good team. Interesting little Fulham link there with Caballo uh, and Cavaliero. Very similar names, those two boys. Uh, but come on, Dembele. Yet to really give the man a go, and I've already got two wins in this play of you. So uh, it could, could be worse. Well done, Patrick. All right, up, the, up to the ball. Dembele, first touch. Love that. Little giving goes here. Ah, it took a little bit too long. Dwell on the ball with Griezmann. Up to Nene. Out your feet quick. But then Bele's movement through the middle. That is perfect. The ball almost inch perfect. All these cards that I've been using, all the footies, by the way, they're attack positioning the movement that runs in behind. Absolutely sensational. Like they create so much space for themselves or for uh, their teammates. It's an absolute joy to see. Then Bele in the pocket. Ooh, man, his dribbling feels pretty snappy off the bat. He's got some pure pace as well with the control. 
Ah, let's do one too many turns. Just trying to test it out though, you know. Early doors, early doors. St. Max, turn. Use that pace now, the belly. Little through ball there. There we go, lads. Here we go. There it is. Happy days. I tried to get the little hocus, uh, hocus pocus in, and we've only gone and smashed it, boys. Decent finish as well. The pace and the control, man. Like, he feels really fast and responsive off the block. Like, in that initial touch has so much pace and power behind it, and it's under control. And, I mean, we're one up. Uzi Boozy's on the score sheet. What more could you want, lads? And Bele. I don't know how we've got away with that. Use the pace now, lads. Still going. Oh, no, nah, he's just taking the mick at this stage. Taking the mick. And he gets the goal back. Fair play. He just sparked something. He went, I think, constant press as soon as I got that first goal. And, yeah, decent one work finish. And it's Ribery as well. That's also competitor for Usman. I do have Ribery untradeable in this club as well, boys. Like, I've got way too much firepower on the bench and in my team. Oh, lads, it's way too easy. Way too easy. Fabio Carvalho as well with a goal. Come on, lads. So at halftime, we find ourselves trailing 2-1. That is fine. I'm confident we will definitely get our chance in the second half. Usman Dembele, initial impressions. You've got a quick, powerful player. Insane dribbling. The finishing looks lethal. He's got a little bit of height about him as well. I like the body type in games. What's good about it is it's different to the likes of St. Maximum Griezmann and, uh, and Neymar. They all offer something a little bit different, even though their stats are so similar, um, which is great. I like that. So hopefully we can get back into it in this second half. Oh, I say just like that. He's offside anyway. It's a crazy stop for my nan. Dembele's gone, boys. Dembele's gone. The movement's great. The touch here has to be good. Oh, he's taking so long to take it down. What is he doing? I hate it when people do that on this game, boys. That sometimes the touch is like literally fantastic. Straight into his uh, feet, open space, and he can get a shot off. But that one takes 19 and a half years to get that under control, and we end up losing it. There we go. Bit of space for Usman to run into. Finesse shot territory. It's a big block, but we still got the ball. Amavi, punish him here. Punish them, boys. There it is. Griezmann pokes it home, and we are level. Come on. It's that kind of situation. Like, he's just so quick, so powerful. And lucky with a little dink there from Greasy Grease. But it's like something as simple as a ball roll or like a finesse shot. It's the touch when he's done the skill move. Uh, the acceleration, the power, like, he blitzes past players. Power. Oh, lads, the control there. Just left stick control on a plate for Greasy. We're back in it. Come on. Put him under pressure. Griezmann has got to be. Oh, the touch was so bad, boys. The ballet. <laughs> you take. Boys, you're actually taking the piss. You're taking the piss. How have we not scored? How have we not scored there? And there. Unbelievable, man. What am I witnessing? Oh, dear. There is no way, lads. I've took the keeper out as well. I've actually lost this game of FIFA, boys. Oh, my days. Yeah, man. Those games where someone just doesn't go your way, lads. Where you have the shots, you have the chances, you just can't find the back of the net. That was that one. And to fall apart in the last second is a little bit of a kick in the teeth. But who really cares, lads? It is August. So we'll put it, let's put it to the side for now. But Dembele, how do I rate him alongside the likes of Neymar, St. Max, uh, Griezmann? Like, he definitely holds his own. You know he is a premium card. You can feel it on the ball. The one thing I'd say is very similar to Neymar. He's more similar to Neymar than he is St. Maximum Griezmann, for example. It's just the touch and the control and the pace that he has when he kind of gets the ball under control. And it goes. You do a skill move, that next touch, as soon as you've done the skill move, is glued to his feet, it's powerful, it's quick, and it's so hard for defenders to track it, make a tackle. And if they do, they'll probably end up fouling him. The finishing looked pretty good. We did get the one goal, that was it, and the one assist in the three matches. But I feel like in front of goal, he should be clinical for you. Would I play him as a striker, though? It's tough when you have these kind of cards. It depends on the formation you're playing. I think Griezmann probably would be 
The man that I would kind of drop back and pay Dembele up front alongside the likes of St. Maximum, for example, have Neymar in that cam roll. But if you're using Griezmann as a striker, Dembele maybe, even though he's a 99 overall, may get pushed out wide. I feel like he may be probably more... Uh, actually, nah. Use him as a striker, lads. Try and use him as a striker. If you can't, play him as a winger, I would say. But overall, my opinion, is he worth the price? Let's see if Footbin has it. I know it's probably going to be similar in that 1.8, 1.5 to 2 million price range, I'm pretty certain, on Xbox. Uh, so I would say, yeah, 100%. He's absolutely class. If you can get all of these cards done, do it, boys, because your team is pretty much made. This is basically my endgame team now. Uh, but which one do I prefer the most? I'm still leaning to Neymar. So if you've not done Neymar yet, get Neymar done first, then get them belly. Anyway, boys, I've been Morsi. I hope you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you later for another one.